you're one of the Bethnal Green girls, right? Yes, I'm one of the Bethnal Green girls. We crossed the borders and we were in a house full of women uh, for about a week. We realised who we were, that, that we were the three girls, and they took us to a house, uh, a man's house with his wife, and we stayed there for uh, about another week. And they didn't tell us why we were there. We kept asking his wife why we're here. We want to go to the um, house of women. We want to see our friend. And she, didn't, she didn't say anything to us. <laughs> and then afterwards, we found out that it was because they suspected we were spies. I was there for only three weeks, so after that I got married. Then you lived together in Raqqa or somewhere else? No, no. What was that like? Was that uh, an experience which fulfilled your aspirations of what it was? Yeah, the... it actually really did. It was like a normal life. The life that they show on the propaganda videos, you know, it's a normal life. But like every now and then there are bombs and stuff. Did you ever see executions? No, no, no. Uh, no, but I saw a beheaded head in the bins. In the bins? Yeah, it's really bin. What was that like when you first saw that? These are the heads of captives? Yeah. I was, didn't pay me at all. Where were you when you heard the teacher had been killed? In Raqqa. Do you know how she died? She, her house was bombed. Because underground there was like some secret stuff going on and a spy had... They, they figured out that something was going on. So her house got bombed and other people got killed as well. I never thought like it would happen. I, like, at first I was in denial. Because I always thought if we ever did get killed, we'd kill, we get killed together. I have to think about my baby as well. After my two kids died, I just... Now I'm really overprotective of this baby. I'm scared that this baby's going to get sick in this camp. That's why I really want to get back to Britain. Because I know it will be taken care of. Like, health-wise, at least. How is it losing two children so close to each other? You can't have been left unfazed by that. It was really... It came as a shock. It just came out of nowhere. It was so hard. On the one hand, the severed head unfazed you, and on the other hand, you are angry about oppression. Because it, it's one thing, because you have to remember that these people, they, the, the, their beliefs are that you kill the non-Muslim, but you treat the, the Muslims, you know, good. But now here you are. And my husband said that while he was in prison, that there were men that they were being tortured so badly that they, would, they were just like, I'm just going to admit to being a spy so they can kill me. Of course. So Dola has actually killed Muslims. You're describing mixed feelings about Dalat then. Yeah. On the one hand, you don't. You said you didn't regret coming to be part of the caliphate. No, I don't regret it. But on the other hand, but when I came and I saw that there was a there's like underground oppression and all this happening, it came as a shock to me. Like this is actually happening. When was the last time you spoke to your mother? Um, I spoke to her when I was in Kishma. In Kishma, yeah. Just before they took Kishma, I was in Kishma, and I, I called her on the phone and I said, I want to leave, I need help. Like, if, I do, if I do get to the camps, I need them to be able to support me in my choice to come back to the UK. When did you last see a doctor? When I um, first came here, the cold ride was really horrible, it was really hot and stuff, so I, I took I could start it, and I was bleeding, so they took me to the hospital. I was in the hospital for five days, and they brought me back. When is your baby due? Officially nine months. I should be giving birth any day now. Especially with this stuff situation, I will probably give birth. Soon. Do you think this is the end of the caliphate? Yeah, I really do. I don't have high hopes. They're just getting smaller and smaller. And there's so much oppression going, oppression and corruption going on that I don't really think they deserve victory.